Hi, Sherry here. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to share with you a gift that my daughter gave to me today. I really was feeling overwhelmed with preparing for a class today. I didn't want to have this overwhelm, so I actually did a lot of, um, I teach out of my home, so I did a lot of my um, preparation in terms of having my house prepared last night so that today I could be more present to be more prepared for my class. And she wanted to cuddle. And I was like, well, I really need to get these dishes done so that while you're in preschool this afternoon, I can get totally focused and not be doing dishes while you're um, not here. And I had this moment of wanting to just push through it and uh, convince her that I didn't have time and something just stopped me and I was frustrated and I didn't want to force myself to just stop, pick her up, go sit on the couch and sit with her and at first I felt resistance and at first I felt anxiety and I wanted to cry and I pulled myself in to the anxiety and just breathed into it until it left. And then I could be fully present with cuddling with my daughter. Out of this situation, I got a complete sense of peace from the anxiety that I was just going to carry through me, with me throughout the day anyways, and probably into my classes. Uh, so she gave me the gift of freedom from my anxiety by pulling me into the present moment with her desire to cuddle as well as giving me the gift of feeling completely able to be present to my work, knowing that first I gave to the people in my life that are the closest to me. So oftentimes we have this natural tendency to, in fact, want to pull away from giving to the people who are closest to us. For some reason that seems to be the hardest with all the you know, the tensions and the patterns that we have with the people that are closest to us. So I got a gift of peace from my daughter today, from her calling me into the moment, and that's what our children do. That's the gift they give to us. And when I brought her to school and sent her off and gave her a kiss and hug, I didn't leave with that feeling of anxiety that I sometimes feel of, oh, I didn't give her enough, oh, I should have been more present. Now that I have my time, I'm not going to totally be able to embrace it or totally fully enjoy it because I know I didn't give myself fully to my kids first. So the next time your child tries to pull you out of your process or your goals, those things that you want to get accomplished, I challenge you to allow your child to be who they are, to give you that gift of who they are. It's their job, actually. It's their job to call us present. And they will. And uh, it can be a real frustration and a real challenge. Or if we just yield to it and relax into it, we'll actually see that in the end we're rewarded with better quality time in our life and more satisfaction with our mothering.